the middle of a bad dream, I ask whoever is filming not to stop. I don't know what a nightmare is called when I'm napping during the day, or if I'm awake, but I'm guessing it's really all the same. I enter this hole of self-pity, which is really housing another hole of self-loathing, which reveals itself as a sea of utter contempt, and I am now floating. The closest I came to knowing God was being caught in a rowing shell in the Fox River during a wicked storm. I looked into God's eyes, and they were gray like my favorite woolen sweater that was thrice worn and thrifted. I guess at heart, I'm a materialist. People often ask me what it's like to fly the coop. Budding ornithologists are weary of tired analogies. I want to be a writer. If given the chance, I would write a novel for every pretty girl that let me kiss her, and another for the all-seeing eye of her big sister. Raindrops smooched my hair soft. Your kisses were distinct like welts from an airsoft. I've never worn a tie that didn't come from the thrift store. Before I was a vegetarian, I should have fished more. I wonder if the pizza in heaven tastes better than here. My spidey sense tingles whenever Eddie Vedder is near. I've never done anything impressive because being remembered as a headline would be delineated. I've never really wanted to be remembered. When Robert died, I was in a bookstore that wasn't born yet, and all around me spun the narratives of other fallen heroes. Dust, dust, dust. Dust on the tomes of the stories of yesterday. Dust on the tombs of the heroes of today. 